Oh, hi. Welcome back. For another Dirty Facts lesson, or ASMR lesson. And so for today, I'm gonna switch from the ancient civilization to some modern ones, more modern ones. And let's talk about empires. And one of the most mysterious empire, it's the Inca Empire. The Inca Empire was the largest empire in pre-Columbian America. And it flourished in the Andean region in South America. It was spread out in Colombia, Ecuador, Bolivia and Peru. And of course, there are some interesting facts about this mysterious empire, Inca Empire. Here I gathered 30 facts, most of them less known about the Inca Empire. So let's start, shall we? And look, we're gonna talk first. Let's focus on the location. The first fact it's about or highlight it's about the location of Inca Empire. It was centered in the Ande, Andes Mountains in South America, covering parts present by Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, Colombia and Chile. Chile is also right there. Well, the heart of the empire was Cusco, which was also its capital, Cusco, 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 and uh, which was considered the novel of the world by the Inca people. Novel of the world by the Inca people. Who was the founder of the Inca Empire? Well. The Inca Empire was founded by Manco Cabac, Manco Cabac. And according to Inca mythology, so his name is Manco, Manco Cabac, Cabac. Right. Expansion. The next highlight. The Inca Empire reached his height in the 15th century. 15th century under the leadership of Emperor Pachacuti. Pachacuti. At its peak, it extended over 2,500 miles and included about 10 million people. Well, at that point in the 15th century it was a huge empire. A large empire. So. What about the official language? The official language of Inca Empire was Queja. 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 And it's still spoken even today by the indigenous people of the Andean region and also some tribes in the Amazonian forest. Next fact it's related to the road system. The Inca road system known as Capacnen, Capacnen was an extensive network of roads that connected the far reaches of the empire. Far reaches the, of the empire. System. Okay. Now let's see. I'm gonna pick the next fact. Which one is the most interesting? This one is the Engineering marvels. Well, 
it seems, and the rumors they are true, because the Inca were skilled engineers and builders, known for their impressive stone mansory. And Machu Picchu, for example, is a notable example of their architectural prowess. Machu Picchu, which is depicted in the background. Machu Picchu, the city of Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Well, agriculture. Terracing. Inca agriculture relied heavily on terraced farming, which helped them cultivate crops in the steppe Andean terrain. In the steppe Andean terrain. So terracing. Well, that's uh, the same uh, strategy or same system used also in the in Asian countries. Government. The Inca Empire had a highly centralized government with the emperor or Sapa Inca at the top. It was a theocratic system and the emperor was considered divine 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 so the emperor was considered divine next will be religion. The Inca religion was a polytheistic one, like all the empires in the past and the ancient ones, and they worshipped a variety of gods. The sun god, Inti, was the most important deity. The sun god, the sun god, sun god. Inti, Inti, In. Well, next fact is also that this one is already the one. Okay, point. Quipo, quipo, quipo. The Inca used a system of knotted strings called quipo for record keeping, communication, and accounting. Quipo, quipo, quipo. How about the most important festivals? The next, next fact. The Inca Festival of Sun, known as Indi Raimi, was a significant religious ceremony and it was it's believed to be one of the most important festivals held across the Inca Empire to honor the major de deity, the god the major god, the sun in the so that this was a question. Next fact well I said then on this one is so called Metal Work. The Inca were skilled metal workers creating intricate gold and silver artifacts. The Spanish were particularly interested in these treasures when they conquered the Inca air areas. So metalwork, gold and silver, gold and silver. Well the next fact it's somehow cruel for us today, but human sacrifices were part of Inca religious practice, often performed during important ceremonies to appease the gods. To appease the gods. Human sacrifice, human sacrifice. Hmm. 
military organizations. Tainka had a well-organized military with specialized units in different terrains and situations. Military, military. At least it was an empire, so they should have a very organized army. Meta system. The Inca implemented a labor tax system known as Mita, where citizens were required to contribute labor for public projects. Some sort of uh, volunteer, instead of paying tax, you will, uh, you could make uh, deeds for them public projects so labor tax systems meta next fact is justice Tainka had a relay messenger system called justice which used trained runners to quickly relay messages across the empire runners wow uh, why they didn't use horses or oh, maybe this is a little bit ambiguous so let's say runners right next fact which is the 19 well some of you may have seen on TV in the documentaries that the Inca people uh, were they were uh, feathered clothing. Well, yes, the Inca were known for their brightly colored and elaborate clothing, often made out of feathers from the Peruvians or condor, condor eagles, vultures. Okay, and with some parrots' feathers also. So the mine source were the Peruvian condor eagles and parrots from the South America. Right. The next fact is hitching post of the sun. The Corincha, Corincha in Cusco, also known as the hitching post of the sun, was a sacred site where the Inca believed the sun was tied during Inti Raimi. Oh, that's kind of interesting, so I will repeat this fact. The Coricancha, Corincha or Coricancha in Cusco is known as the hitching post of the sun. It was a sacred site where the Inca believed the sun itself was tied down during Intirami, Intiramin, which is the main festival for the sun deities architecture the next fact which is 21 Inca architecture was characterized by polished dry stone walls without mortar such as those found in Sakayuman Saksayuman, 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 Yaman, Saksayuman. The next fact, Inca Trail. The famous Inca Trail is a hiking road that leads to Machu Picchu and was part of the largest, larger Inca road. Alright, so 
Mm -hmm. How about the poncho? Poncho. Everybody knows what a poncho is, right? Well, the Inca people commonly wore rectangular piece of cloth called capernia as a poncho. Capernia. Capernia. And this, it seems to be an Inca style poncho. Poncho. Agricultural products. The Inca people cultivated a variety of crops, including potatoes, quinoa, maize, and beans. So, from there the potatoes and the corn is originating from that area. We have just a few left. Economic system. Uh, well, the Inca people had a centralized economic system with state ownership of land and resources. So there were no private properties. So state owned everything. The 26th fact it's about natural resources. The Inca Empire was very rich in natural resources. The mine richness come, came from gold, silvers and precious stones. Gold, silver and precious stones. Maybe this is the reason why they made so astonishing artifacts out of gold. Chuno. What is Chuno? Well, the Inca developed a freezy drying technique called Chuno to preserve potatoes for long periods of time. Chuno. So it seems that this is the precursor of the freezer. Inca Carcilasso de la Vega. Well, a famous Inca historian, he wrote extensively about Inca history and culture. Carcilasso de la Vega. Carcilasso de la Vega. So, so, so. And now, the final fact or highlight. The Spanish conquest. The Inca Empire fell to the Spanish conquistadors led by Francisco Pizarro in 1533, making the end of Inca civilization. Making end of the Inca civilization. Very interesting. Some of them were astonishing fact. I hope you enjoyed this video with another 30 facts about a civilization or an empire. This time was the Inca Empire so maybe it's time for us for me in the future to make more videos about lost empires or forgotten empires or old empires does matter. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video as always. And until next time, next time, I wish you all the best, of course. Bye bye from Machu Picchu. Bye bye. This is what.